Hello viewers, this is another edition of the Magwoo's videos, and I just figured I've, it's been really annoying since PSN's come back on, everybody on online just feels like they have to use all their FAMOSs and stuff, so it's just getting a little annoying, so I figured, eh, might as well pull out some zombies, and I gotta admit, a lot of people don't like this Zombies Dead Ops Arcade. A lot of people do. I'm starting to become a fan. It's 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 quite fun. As you can see, I've never played it on this account. Flamethrower, baby. This is live, by the way. I just figured I'd throw it in. Flamethrower, even though it sucks on most zombies, like uh, on World at War, it's awesome on this one. And if you don't know how to play this, all you do is move the left thumbstick to uh, run and you move the right one to aim and shoot it's quite simple and basically all these little things that drop once you beat one that's how you get a points that's one of the main places main ways you can get points and then you see the two yellow arrows you can decide which way to go sometimes sometimes you get bonus rooms where it's full of treasure like that other times, oh, spaz. <laughs> this one's one of the most fun to use, even though it's probably one of the worst. See, two players is more fun on this, but I gotta admit, one player is quite fun. Oh, I love this thing. I don't know what, what it's called, but I call it the bird. It, like, follows you around and shoots exactly what you shoot. It's, it's pretty sweet. I mean, it, it definitely helps kill. It's good for higher rounds. Um, another thing is, L1, let me see, L1 is nuke, <laughs> um, R1 is speed boost, and I just figured I'd throw that out there. So, if you're getting beat up or something, or if you're losing lives, use L1 to throw a nuke out. I just got an RPG, even though I can't use it. So yes, I just got a nuke, the nuke back that I just used. That's always nice. <laughs> and you have no ammo, so you can continually shoot as much as you want. That's another thing that's fun, and you can do this. Whee! Um, let's go this way. Oh, I lost my birdie. But yeah, um, R1 speed boost, I'm not going to show you that yet. I'll probably use that eventually, but I just got a death machine. Let's go, baby. Die, die, die. What the heck? I don't think I've ever gotten that. Oh, yeah, I have. What am I talking about? I just don't recognize it. Um, I don't know exactly what these are. They look like oil cans. I think that's what they're supposed to be, but I'm not exactly 100% sure what they do. I guess they just knock the zombies out of the way. I guess. I don't know. Because I've never seen them do anything else. But yeah, this is a fun game mode if you ever want to try it. Um, I know it's a lot. It's a lot more fun, and when you're doing it multiplayer, uh, it's so much fun. If you do even two player, but four player, I can imagine. I've never done a four player one, but I can't imagine how fun a four player would be. These things are kind of like the last ones. I'm, I mean, like I said, I haven't like been playing this, this isn't, except these things explode, it's like the, um, the Vandovafo, the, um, you know, the good old electric gun from World at War, yeah, it's like that, except it's spinning, and, see, watch, let me see if I can get it to hit him, oh, it didn't hit him, dang it, I lost all my points, now I'm getting them back. Well, next time I'm not going to try to show you. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Okay, let's go. Oh, teleport time. So when you get to the teleporter, it brings you to the next area. Um, there's a little cans again, or oil drums, or whatever the heck you want to call them. And those electric things, I'm not ex the, that pole. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it will elect it, it'll turn on and 
it's like electric and if you run into it you can die I just got another speed boost so now I might as well show you what it does when you hit R1 boom it does that it's quite entertaining especially when you got like 10 of them I've gotten like 10 of them before and you just continually use them that's a monkey bomb oh my gosh you got me while a monkey bomb was up let's see what's over here points 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 I don't exactly know what the gorilla does I just know he will attack you at the end uh, you'll see bonus room ray gun even though we don't get to use it ray gun is pretty sweet on this too look at that it bounces wait since when does it bounce maybe it's always done that I don't know I don't know like I said I have not oh tank I just got a tank seriously tanks are awesome to use but I got one and I can't even use it against zombies it's really hard to control though like not super hard but the way it turns and stuff like a real tank can be quite challenging I like getting the gunship that's really fun RPG um, as you can see this is kinda like the little uh, little place on Villa the little fountain uh oh see the RPG is not very good I'd rather have the China Lake oh the birdie yeah, I don't know exactly what the callouts would be, but I know some of them. I just call this one Birdie. Oh my gosh. These guys might reach farther than the actual zombies and regular... Oh, speaking of the China Lake, right here it is. It's quite fun to use this one, because it doesn't shoot very far, so it's easy to get them. Okay. How many lives am I down to? One? That's not too great. I'm, I haven't gotten super far in this either, so I don't know how hard it gets. When we were playing, when I was playing multiplayer with Jake, we'd just like goof around most of the time. Here's the little electric balls. What? How do you get me through the electric? Come on, give me a break. Good, these things. I'm starting to like these things because they can't get within you. They can't get close to you. It's quite fun. Come and get me. Oh, that's right, you can't. Screw you. Ooh, is that the birdie? Yes, the birdie. See, you always want to watch out for those electric things. They can kill zombies, but they can kill you too, so... I'd say it's more important to stay away from them than to get close to them. Unless you've got, like... See, right there, you killed the zombie, but if I got too close, it'll kill me, and I'm on my last life. So, is that all of them? Yep. So go on to the next room see eventually there's rooms like this one that don't give you a choice of where to go you just have to go where it tells you do I still get my RPG yep see right now my bird is shooting RPGs if you can't tell oh now it's gone and RPGs are gone Ooh, a nuke see I used a nuke because I knew I was going to get one, and there's something else there. I think it was a speed boost. Yeah, I'm getting too close to dying now, and I've only got one life. Uh, this is my last life. Speed boost. Ray gun. Oh, they got me. Well, that's the end of that. Now, let me see. Yay! Am I dead? Score! Blah blah blah. 360,175. I know that's not very good, but let me see if this guy comes in. Yep, there's the gorilla. I am gorilla, me back. And does he attack me or not? Yep. Now, I don't know if there's a way you can get him to not attack you or what, but I don't know. He's done that every time. So, yeah, that's just a little introduction to Dead Ops Arcade, and I hope you guys have fun playing it. I will see you guys with the next video.